Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be building my May perfume tray. May happens to be a very special month for me because not only is it my baby boy's birthday month, but it's also my birthday month. He was actually born the day before my birthday, so there's gonna be a lot of celebrating going on in the month of May. Our birthdays also fall on Memorial Day weekend. We have graduations to go to. It's just a lot happening in this month. So on this month's tray, I have a lot of easy reaches, and then I have a few that are slightly sexier for my special day out with my husband so if you like to see what perfumes I picked for this month's tray then keep on watching if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Oshimare on this channel I talk about all things smell goods if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you like today's video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you are a returning viewer hey it is so good to see you and thank you so much for all the love and support of this channel all right you guys so I don't know about y'all but when it's time to break out a new perfume tray in the beginning of the month I feel like it is so much fun shopping my own collection and then bringing all the new fragrances in I just I had so much fun building this tray I have some newer fragrances on here I have some oldie but goodies but without further to do let's jump into these fragrances first up on the tray we will be adding narcisco rodriguez must noir rose to the tray so i added this perfume because i wanted something on here that would be good for like date nights that's a little sultry a little musky and a little sexy as well and must noir is definitely all that wrapped up in one and i love the mix of the bergamot in here it's like a slight zestiness to it that keeps it from being too rosy and too tuberosy as well but one of the main stars in this perfume that makes it so so good is that added plum in here it just gives it an extra mm, just an extra creaminess and sexiness that so many people are loving i just got this one last month and i wasn't ready to put this one down yet just because we're in a new month so before it gets super super hot i wanted to still have this one in rotation and i also want to put a little bit more of a dent in this one before i put her down and then just break her out for more colder nights i can definitely wear this all year round but i think the particular tuberose and rose that's in this fragrance may be a little too thick and cloying and suffocating but it starts to get like really Really, really hot so I'm gonna play around with this one for one more month and then we're just gonna set her aside we're gonna let her just sit and soak and get even juicier and thicker and bring her back out in the cold season next up we have a perfume by philosophy one of my favorite houses and this one is called summer grace and this is what the bottle looks like and you guys this is literally a fragrance I have to have in rotation every single spring and summer even though it's called summer grace there's another one that they came out with that is also like a summery scent that's more so targeted towards summer whereas this one is just it smells just so carefree it's effervescent it's so girly and it's so floral and a little dainty i associate it more so with the springtime y'all i love this fragrance so much this is my second bottle i have another one on backup just in case they go out of stock and i just ordered another one it's a little citrusy it's slightly bright because it has bergamot in it and you also have some peony in here and y'all this is just this is such a pretty scent oh my goodness and the memories attached to this is also another reason why I just will never be without this one just the best memories and it's a very soft delicate scent not overpowering whatsoever so it's definitely going to be one that you are going to be able to just really enjoy and other people that happen to be in your scent bubble will also enjoy this on you as well so I definitely have to have this one on my tray this month next up we have one by Parfums de Marley and this is Oriana and this is just a fluffy pretty girl scent that I always have to bring out during this time of the year what I like about this is that it's not too overly gourmand it's still sweet because it has some fruit in here there's some floral notes in here and off of the initial spray you definitely mm, you get that marshmallow but then you also get a little mandarin orange and a little bit of that bergamot but on the dry down it's definitely marshmallow and whipped cream it's a fun bright creamy scent so so good the next fragrance that we will be adding onto this month's tray is one that i picked up during the sephora spring savings event and this is a new one by skylar and this is called lime sands and y'all this is literally a zesty salty margarita the lime in here is just so bright and you also get some verbena in here as well and i can just see so many memories being attached to a fragrance like this during the spring and the summer like 
going to brunches with your girl or your guy or whoever, maybe just going to get some margaritas or sangrias. Off of initial sniff, what I loved about this fragrance is that it made me feel like I was drinking a margarita, like a huge margarita with like the salt along the rim. This one gives all those vibes. So this is just gonna be so, so fun in this season. It's refreshing, it's upbeat. Love the zestiness. And I don't have a lot of lemon and lime fragrances. That's so literal like this one. So this is definitely gonna be a fun one to have in rotation this month. Next up is one by Giorgio Armani, and this is Ocean de Joya. And y'all, isn't this such a pretty, just aquatic marine looking bottle? I love it. It's so fresh, it's citrusy, it's a little green, it's got some pear in here. It's just so, so good. I would definitely wear something like this. Like, let's say if I was going out to like grab a bite on like the beach with someone, this would be like the perfect type of setting for that. Mm. I'm definitely looking forward to putting more of a dent in this one. If you love pear and you love salty aquatic fragrances, it's so, so pretty. So, so happy to bring this one back out and so happy that it's hot enough that I feel like wearing it finally. The next one that we will be adding to this month's tray is one that I really don't hear enough people talking about and I don't know why, but the fragrance that I'm talking about is Donna Born Aroma Yellow Dream. And y'all, why do people talk about this? This one is so pretty. The lemon note in here is gorgeous. Gis. This is another fragrance that I bought at the end of fall last year and I put it up and was waiting to break this one out for spring and when I brought it out I was like what? Like this is so good and perfect for right now and this one has like a very sexy yet pulled together type of vibe. There's a little rose in the background and a little musk to round it out but it literally I think just has musk, rose, and lemon in here. Lemon is at the top, musk obviously is at the base but if you haven't checked it out oh my gosh that is so good girl why are they hating on you if you haven't checked it out check it out this is date night it's like not doing too much but just enough yeah we we about to put a dent in her so had to have her on the tray next up is one that i have not shut up about since i gotta say y'all don't throw stones at me okay but listen if i really like something Y'all gonna keep hearing me talk about it because I just, I want y'all to know. And this is Good Girl Blush by Carolina Herrera, you guys. Obsessed. The obsession is real. I can't get enough of this one. It's rosy. It's a little citrus. And y'all hold that thought because my baby just woke up. So on days where I'm feeling very feminine, just very dainty, I have a flowy dress on, I have a flowy skirt on, maybe something flowy like this, I would definitely reach for something like this this month. <laughs> you guys, okay, so <laughs> before we go to the next fragrance, my baby is crying in the background. He's fine, he's in his crib, he just doesn't want to go to sleep. So listen, this is a very real raw moment. <laughs> We're gonna speed this up a little bit. So the next fragrance that I will be adding to this month's tray is Chance Eau Fresh. I look forward to this one every single spring. And so this will be in heavy rotation for this month and for next month. Very bright, very green, beautiful. Next up is one by Skylar and this is Coconut Cove. And Coconut Cove is literally just going to transport me to a vacation. Like right now, I wish I was on somebody's tropical paradise island. But instead, my baby is in the background crying and crying on nobody's island. I love the coconut in here. I love the gardenia mixed with the jasmine. There's a little heliotrope in here as well. And there's a few bright notes, but mainly what I get from this is like a kind of like a sparkly, everescent coconut in here. Y'all know I love me a good mouth-watering fragrance, and this is definitely one of those fragrances. This is so good. I'm really enjoying this one this month. Up next is one by Ariana Grande, and this is Mod Blush. So this one definitely had to be on this month's tray. It's sweet, it's tropical, it's rose. There's passion fruit in here. You also have some pink pepper. There's some pear. I love it. So definitely we'll be getting a lot of use out of this one. And the last fragrance that I will be adding to this month's tray is one that kind of reminds me of the bouquet of flowers behind me. <laughs> and this is one by Ellis Brooklyn and this is called Floors. And Floors literally is like you're walking through a garden of flowers. It's gardenia, it's jasmine. The white florals in here mixed with a little bit of fruit. It's so beautiful. I love it, you guys. And so if you are a floral lover like me, I would suggest that you put this in rotation for you as well. And once again, this is 
Flores by Ellis Brooklyn. All right, you guys, and that concludes my May perfume picks. Comment down below and let me know what fragrances are you guys rocking this month. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.